Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday. It is already humid and hot here. Hopefully, ho ho hopefully everybody had a blessed weekend. A great Mother's Day or Father's Day, because there are fathers out there that become both mothers and fathers. Um, my weekend. Where do I begin? Saturday. Yeah, I'll start with Saturday. My husband and I, we went into town. And he picked me up a... I don't know if you guys can actually see the flowers out here. This plant right here. It's in the container. You've got the new snowball plants that have the snowballs that big. And then you got the old-fashioned ones. The traditional. I have little ones like this. And he bought me a old-fashioned snowball tree so we got to plant it this weekend I mean my head is just gone this afternoon um, that's what he did Saturday we went out for lunch and all that Sunday that was a blessed day I'm paying the price for it today my back is screaming in my lungs feel like I'm breathing through mud. That's from being outside too much yesterday. Really, really way too much outside. But I'm surviving. I'm blessed. I'm alive and I'm breathing. But you guys, if you have a Facebook, you got to definitely see. Oh, I think I don't even, um, not a Facebook. My other channel called Liming Around it has all the videos that went through yesterday. Uh, and that's where I went a little stupid. I mean, we had karaoke machine out here. Everybody was singing. My granddaughters. I had all four of my granddaughters here. And my two eldest daughters here. And my father-in-law. We had a cookout. And I think that's what got me most. Because the breeze yesterday was blowing the over here on the other side of the porch. Um, was blowing the charcoal and the smoke through the porch. And... That in the backyard, I think, really got me, but um, I'm making it. I've already done my, got my humidifier going in the house. I already did my nebulizer, and I'm still having to, a... <coughs> <coughs> uh. <coughs> do my inhaler because my chest is so congested. But, I had my do two daughters and my four granddaughters over there, over here yesterday with my son-in-law as well and it was a blessed day we had fun we really did um my my back is screaming because we all know how to do the staying alive dance and we all got up there and did the staying alive dance and mama's back with no medicines <sighs> is we're paying for it right now today it's screaming but um he took all the kids on I've got a six foot long by four foot wide trailer that goes to the back of my four wheeler. Hooked it up. My husband rode all the grandbabies around and everything. Then it went to my husband rode each granddaughter. Well, except the two youngest, the three year olds, um, went took a mud riding, and they all came back corroded with mud. Then he took both daughters. Then the daughters got on it and went mud riding, and then my son-in-law went and went mud riding, and then he rode the kids around. It was a good blessed day. Um, let's see, what else happened funny? <laughs> I've got balloons, all broke water balloons all up in my yard from water balloon fights. If you have a Facebook, you can go and see the water balloon fights the girls um, had. If you look, I'll move. If you look behind me, my swing, it don't swing, it's on the floor right now. <laughs> We're not even going to go there. It's on the floor. So my husband this afternoon has to come home and put new cables around it to put it back up because, yeah, it's on the floor. But we had the girls, they had uh, one karaoke machine off in the corner over here playing. And then the adults were over here and everything. 
and let's see, um, we went for a coffee run yesterday, and I got my once occasional iced coffee, I took two sips out of it, two, and then when I went to grab it again, it was empty, and I'm like, who's drinking my coffee, who's drinking my coffee, I got hot coffee in the house, who's drinking my coffee, my husband, Leon, says, Ashley, that's my eldest daughter, she said, she's been drinking, I'm like, have you seen her drink it, no, but she's probably the one drinking it, well, through the day, we, we had made a Happy Mother's Day post yesterday, but unfortunately, I never hit record, so I'm going to a 15-minute recording with all the family um, talking for Mother's Day. It's not even recording. Well, it's the only part, but through the day, I recorded everything that went on, so I told Leon, I'm like, it's okay. I'll find out who drank my coffee. I'll, I recorded the whole day. So, last night around midnight, I finally got to the part of the video that showed who was drinking my coffee. And when my daughter, which I found out, guys, I always say, um, I don't know who's thumbsing up the liking my post or my or my comments and everything because it don't show names on certain people have accounts who don't really have nothing on it. It's just an account. Well, I've had two mysterious accounts. Who watch and like my videos and everything and never knew who they were. Kind of find out through my two eldest daughters who's been keeping up and watching my videos but never let me know. So, um, I, I'm losing train of thought. So, when Ashley or Kelsey Brooke, even though this is going on Facebook too, when I asked who was drink, taking and drank all my coffee, Ashley Diane. Your six-year-old, my baby doll, my sunshine, Riley Shay. I got her caught on video drinking every bit of my iced coffee. So, I, my, Gammy's going to make sure she cannot reach it next time. So, yeah, my six-year-old, my eldest granddaughter, was sneaking my coffee and chug-a-lug, chug-a-lug in through the straw. And I, and I knew she was drinking my water because every time I brought out a bottle of water to drink, I found out it was half empty or empty. Come to find out, she was chug-a-lugging my every bottle of water I was bringing out, she was drinking. It was like anything I brought out to drink, it's it it was it it belonged to her too. Gammy's drinking it. I'm gonna drink it with her and. That's what she did. Everything, and I got it on video, everything I brought out to drink, whether it was water, finally had an iced coffee, but I mostly drank water. Yeah, that's all I did was drink water and then one iced coffee. All my waters kept coming up half empty. That was my grandbaby, Ash. I mean, Raleigh Shay. But yeah, I have a six-year-old, a five-year-old, and two three-year-old granddaughters. So, and it's Raleigh Shay's my eldest, then Amara Jade is my second, is the five-year-old. <laughs> then I got Tabitha, or Tabby Cat as we call her. And then I got Lisbeth, my redhead, literally copper penny redhead, grandbaby. Guys, I had a blast. I was blessed. I'm blessed because God carried me through the day yesterday and let me make it through the whole day. Yeah, I mean... I'm not going to deny I didn't have to t not take Zoloft. It wasn't because I was stressed out. It was because that was the first interaction of people inside my bubble. And I wasn't used to I, I didn't know how I was going to handle it. Because in public places, I freak out. Start panicking, have anxiety attacks, whatever, whatnot. So, I mean, I didn't take a Zoloft at the beginning. I knew I was out of my muscle relaxers. And my mind just forgot. Um... And I take my normal supplements and stuff, but I took it Zoloft when my father-in-law come. I'm not even going to go there on that subject. Excuse me. And um, I, I actually took it because the girls were having a, started having a screaming party and everything, and it calmed me down. Well, I wanted to stay calm, so I didn't go into that panic mode of because I'm a very, I'm not, a, a, yeah, I'm atypical, but I'm the kind of person. If we're all outside, you're all outside. I don't want no in and outs, in and outs, running about. Go have fun out in the yard. That's why it's mowed, blah, blah, blah. 
uh, and I, that's the kind of person I am but yesterday it was cool but I'm gonna have to be careful because my second um, to the eldest Amar Jade my little Shirley Temple um, she went into the house yesterday and she had to use the bathroom so I'm like okay go use the bathroom let Gammy know when you you're done 15 20 minutes went by then she pops out as I'm walking in into the kitchen. I can't remember what I'm doing. And I'm like, do you need any help? So I walk to the bathroom. I look and my eyes glance down. I got a half, almost a half inch of water flooding my bathroom. <laughs> Literally. My grandbaby, Amara, had went into the kitchen while I was outside because everybody was grilling and stuff. Because I had three, I was trying to interact with everybody. She went in the kitchen, grabbed the basket with all the water balloons, and went to the bathroom, and it got clogged up with balloons inside the sink, and she's trying to fill up all these water balloons, and it's clogged up from water balloons, and flooded my whole bathroom and started coming out the bathroom into the hallway, and there's balloons all over the floor, that my rugs are soaked, everything so, and this poor child's corroded in mud from my husband taking them all, mud riding and everything. Mud everywhere, water everywhere, balloons everywhere. <laughs> everything was so... So, it, that was a... I got upset, mind you. I did. I didn't get, you know, really, really frustrated. That wasn't my part. I was too calm. So, I let the parent, Kelsey Brooke, take care of her. But that was a hilarious moment. When I walked in, because I'm telling you, if I hadn't walked in at that direct moment, I have no clue how much longer that water would have kept running. And Because she, she was coming out of the bathroom, coming outside, and was leaving the water running, just flowing over the sink and all over the floor. <coughs> so, I got my bathroom flooded, literally. Um, that, that was a hilarious a point of everything. Um, they got stuck in the mud because the mud went. I, after my husband had took all the kids, he's like, "Yeah, the pond on the regular trail is drying up, so I took them down the stream." I'm like, "Okay, well, you guys are all done. I'm gonna, you know, slowly ride down there and check." So I was gonna cross the stream, their trail that was in the stream. And I wasn't mud riding or anything like that. And here's the string going this way. And I was going to cross over. I'm nothing wet. So I'm not heavy, heavy. And I've got my husband. He's 225. And then his daughter's in any range between 160 to 210. Because they're beast like their daddy. Well, I crossed over. I didn't get to cross over. It went in and swoop sunk up to the rails of the four-wheeler. Now, my old four-wheeler was a four-wheel drive version, but my husband got rid of it so I couldn't harm myself. But he's out there mud riding in this with all the kids. Well, my four-wheeler went across the creek and sunk down in the creek sideways. Here's the creek running, and I'm sideways down in it. And it's up to the rails of the four-wheeler. So I have to step off. I step off, and I swear to God, guys, it was right here. Oh. Right here. On me deep. And I'm sitting there going. Oh, and I stepped out not really realizing. I'm Zoloft off. That's the really only thing I had yesterday. To get me through any pain and all that. So I, I didn't. I stepped out and it went up to where I just showed you. I'm like. Oh. Now I'm wearing a brand new pair of Capri workout pants or knee knee highs wearing my brand new shirt my husband just bought me Saturday and when I stepped out I noticed it and then I got, grabbed the the right side no the left side of the handlebar to get out lost my shoes in there my brand new shoes that I don't like going anywhere in unless it's you know town or something they were my good tennis shoes Lost my tennis shoes in there. Had to reach back in there to find my tennis shoes and pfft, fell in it. 
So I finally got the four wheeler out because I'm way back there. Finally got the four wheeler out and I come back. I am literally hair, face, my whole body was caked in mud. And I'm like, listen, I, I, I got to get this washed off because I automatically started burning and itching and all that stuff. But that was hilarious. But my husband, I still don't remember if I called or that he called about them coming. But also, um, they're going to start coming once or twice a month. Um, because, you know, they live in apartments and we have all this acreage and everything. And, you know, they can have fun, run around, turn the music up as loud as they want. Nobody's going to hear it but the cows. And um, so they're going to be coming up this weekend because we got... All the stuff that used to be in this trailer when we moved here in a big old pit to burn. And we had to wait for the fire <sighs> be allowed to get permits to burn, which is this weekend. Well, actually, started yesterday. So they're coming out this weekend, both daughters, all four granddaughters. And except this time, we're all going to just pop tents and everything and pile it out in the backyard, cook out and everything back there. So it's a bigger area so i'm blessed to have them back into my life i really am i didn't realize they were watching my videos and you should have told me instead of finding out the day you were coming but other than that i had a blessed weekend god god got me through the weekend held my hand put all my aches and pains and issues aside and i got through the weekend i enjoyed my weekend i really really did and if I had to discuss what the only thing wrong with me today, which I took a pain pill, so it's trying to kick it in to my back and easing it up. It's not as it's not as good as a muscle relaxer, but my lungs being out near the all the trees in the backyard that I'm really really allergic to, really really bad. Being out in the grass and everything, I'm dealing with the lung inflamed today. But other than that, I'll I'll deal with it. I had a blessed weekend. I had a blessed Mother's Day. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They also got me wind chimes. I love wind chimes. I love, I'll show you guys, too. They're right here. I could not read the, and Ashley and Kelsey, when you watch this, now that I know you watch it, I didn't, I still have not read the Mother's Day card, because like I said, I read the first two lines, and I started bawling, and I still haven't read them, but my grandbaby, everybody knows I love wind chimes and stuff. And I've got one from my dear friend who passed away from cancer. Oh, almost six years now. Five years. But let me turn it around. i got one that's a butterfly. I don't know if you can see the color. Just with a single bell. I think that one's from Ashley. And her two daughters, Riley and Elizabeth. And then i got the bird with one now if i mix these up girls i'm sorry and that one's from kelsey amara and tabby cat what i got blessed with the most i love my daughters but i haven't seen my grandbabies sorry guys i have not seen my grandbabies and all going on almost two years because everything going on the youngest one Elizabeth, my redhead. She's always been my hoop and holler. You guys have watched all my videos before. You know the backstory of her. Oh my goodness. It's like she for never forgot who I was and became Gammy's titty baby. Literally. Gammy's titty baby. I loved it, loved it, loved it. And then I got Amara. Tabby's a little shy. We got to just break her in. <laughs> She's not. She's always a shy one. She's, but she's so much like her mother, which is trouble number two. Is my second eldest daughter. She's trouble number two. If we're together, there's trouble. And, she, and that's a long story. But um, I had all the girls. I had a Jade, which she always was a little shy with me. It took her forever to always get used to me. But I'm Gigi to Kelsey Brooks' two girls, and I'm Gammy to Ashley's. Um, girls, and I've um, I've helped raise through Ashley's two girls. I've helped raise them, and I've also been around Kelsey Brooks's girls, but not all the time because she's always been so busy and everything. But it was it was a blessing that they just like oh, 
GG, gimme, and it was, I, I was corroded with the grandbabies, but you know what, I didn't stress out, I was, I was so calm, and I was so at peace, I wasn't stressed, I wasn't upset, I wasn't freaking out that, hey, you just walked through my house with dirty shoes, or coated in mud, I'll shampoo it, it's just carpet, I had such a blessed week. But I'm trying to think of all the other silly... Oh, yeah. Um, what was another silly thing? My rocket chair. Uh, broke. <laughs> uh, yeah. My rocking chair broke. But today I got to get out here and pick up all the water balloons and the juice containers that seem to be... I'm finding everywhere, and I'm going to just take it easy today, but hopefully everybody had a blessed Mother's Day and weekend, and you have a blessed day today. I'm going to take it easy and get in the house, pick up any form of mess that's in there, um, because my husband has to order, because I can't do laundry right now, because my husband's having to order the part for the washing machine to get it fixed, go figure. I told him it's just cheaper just to buy another washer. Than the part. The part is expensive. The sensory unit and everything. So I'm going to have to run to a, um, a laundry mat this week to do laundry. I'm like, we'll do it in the afternoon. I'm not worried. You got enough clothes to get you through the week. We'll do it this weekend. No big deal. I'll give you plenty of time to either get me another washer or fix this washer. So other than that, I'm going to take it easy today. I've got a bag of garbage I'm just now looking at over by the grills that I need to pick up. And get out here and pick up all these water balloons. But God bless you all. And hopefully you had a blessed weekend. And I'll tune in this afternoon. Love you all.